G'day viewers, Sepp here. I'm leaning over the HQ at the moment and I'm going to show you how I read the spark plugs before I adjust the mixture screw on the Stromberg carburetor. First thing we do is I like to check to make sure there's no dust or grit or dirt in underneath the spark plug cap before I pull the plug out. So this one's all clear. It's a six cylinder 202. I won't pull all the plugs out, we'll just do a couple just to show you. I like to just take them out as far as I can without falling out. I'll just unscrew the last bit with my hand. I'll have a look at this one. So I've just come back from a 200k trip. The last couple of kilometres, or probably eight kilometres, I drove around the town. As you can see with this one, it's slightly, it's slightly blackened at the top, which indicates to me it's uh, slightly rich, but. I've played with this before, this vehicle, this carburetor, and it does like to have a bit of rich fuel. Um, if I run it too lean, it um, has a tendency to, I suppose, not be smooth, the engine. So you can see it's a sooty sort of colour. It's quite brown, a little bit brown there. You can't probably see on the camera, it's quite brown down the bottom. There, you can see that sooty stuff, so we won't adjust anything based on that. I'll just put this back. Let's do that up by hand. I don't over tighten the spark plugs, there's no need. I'll just make sure I've got that spanner in the right spot so it's not leaning on the plug. And just give it a bit of a nip, that's all you need. The other thing I like to do is just I slide that back just so I can see the metal part of the spark plug lead that's, that actually clips onto the plug. So I've got a nice firm connection. Make sure that's tight. The end bit, screw it on properly. Push it on and then I slide it down a little bit. So we'll do that one. We'll do this one. I like to actually just crack the rubber boot just to make sure it's not stuck too tight. And pull it off. Just quickly check that one for Grit. If there's any grit in there, I just blow it out with the with the compressed air. But there's not, so that's good. I'll get this one off and have a look at this one. Let's get a bit of a tap. I find that most of the plugs are the same condition when I take them out of this vehicle, this engine. It's got good compression, they're all the same. So this one's very similar. It's got a slight bit of brown on tinge on the top. It's probably a little bit lighter down the bottom there, but again, it's got the sootiness on the top. So it's pretty much the same. I'll do one more. I've been tuning this vehicle myself for I can't remember how many years because we've had it brand new in the family since 73 and um, I've worked on it with dad all the time we said do it ourselves pretty basic these old cars it's not much to them really when you're tuning them just make sure that is on properly too let's push that back a bit there we go that's it I might do the last one over here. Let's check again. Yeah, it's all good. Make 
sure that's sitting on properly. There's the last one. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. It's got the brown tinge on one side. And it's pretty much blacked on the top, the sooty sort of colour. But again, this one's quite brown down the, towards the bottom with the plug, which you probably can't see in there. But um, we'll put that one back as is. These plugs are only new as well. They haven't been in there all that long, so. Depends on how bad they were, I would adjust it, but I'm not even going to bother cleaning those because I'd say that the next one I do, long run, I'll recheck them again. But I know the car's running really well. It's nice and smooth. And if I run it any leaner, it starts to get this little bit of a, I suppose, a hesitation, you call it. So, just double check that one as well. It felt pretty good going on. Yeah, that's it. There it is. Just push it down slightly. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's what the plugs look like. If they're any darker than that, if they're really sorted up really bad, I probably would knock the fuel back, the fuel mixture back a little bit maybe. But I know if I go too much further back, the car, it has a bit of a hesitation. So it seems to run really well where it is with those plugs looking like that. So I just keep an eye on them. The car doesn't do many, many miles. That's no big deal if I have to pull them out every now and then. I just keep an eye on it. That's it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.